Hey there, this is Jake Ducey, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to turn your annual income into your monthly income. And I'm well aware that that sounds like a crazy concept. I know it may even sound totally unrealistic to you. It may even sound like I'm totally BSing you. And I can emphasize with that because the exact same thing happened to me when my mentor told me to turn my annual income into my monthly income. I thought it was absurd, I thought it was unrealistic, I was like, yeah, right. But, although I didn't believe it, I believed in him. And I did exactly what he said to do, and I turned my annual income into my monthly income, and it actually happened a lot faster than I thought. And it's still to this day, one of the most miraculous, incredible things that have ever happened in my life. So if you want to attract more money into your life, you wanna create financial abundance, and you wouldn't mind turning your annual income into your monthly income, and you have an open mind, this video is for you. So let's dive right into this video, hit the like button there and there, and let's go right into it. So the first step is you need to know where you are and you need to know where you're going. And this may sound like an easy one, but a lot of people don't even know where they are. They don't really even know how much money they make. It just kind of comes in and they're not really sure. I know that happened to me. I really didn't know exactly how much money I made. I never really looked at it. I thought I was so spiritual that I could basically avoid the topic altogether. And so really what I was doing was practicing negligence. I thought it was making my life less stressful financially by kind of avoiding the topic, but it actually made it worse. And I finally, my mentor said to me, hey, turn your annual income into your monthly income. And so I went and looked, where was I? And I was making about 3,000, 4,000. Some months I'd make five, some months I'd make 2,500. But it was in, right in that range of three to $5,000 a month. So I set my first goal to make $50,000 a month. So you need to know where you are and where you're going. So the first thing that I invite you to do is even though it sounds foolhardy, even though it just, doesn't even seem possible to define where it is that you're going. Clearly define a numerical number that is always going to be this or something greater. So mine was $50,000 a month or something greater. I was 22 years old and it sounded like a very absurd concept, especially for someone that was a college dropout, was never great in school, but this image that you're seeing now coming onto the screen that is from my mentor, Bob Proctor, really changed my life because it gave a physical representation of how I was going to accomplish this. So as you see on the screen right now, the lower X has a line across it. There's a bunch of lines. All those lines are different frequencies. And what is a frequency? A frequency is a rate of vibration. Everything in this physical universe has a frequency. It is a frequency. It's vibrating. The law of vibration decrees that every single thing is in motion. My body is actually a rate of vibration that is vibrating at the frequency that appears to be a solid object called the body. This chair has a certain frequency. This wall has a certain frequency. And you know what else has a frequency? your present bank account and the amount of money that you earn. That is a frequency level and it's projected from your own consciousness. Everything in this universe is energy, that's all it is. It appears to be solid because it's moving at such a fast speed that to the realm of visible light we perceive, it looks like a solid object. Now if we go back to this representation here on the image, the lower X is where you are right now. That's your present bank account level and the amount of money that you earn. For me, that was right about at that three to $5,000 a month range. That's where I was. 
Well, because everything is energy, what I want already exists. So the upper X at the top, let's say is my goal of $50,000 a month or your goal of whatever your numerical number is. By the way, if you've actually jotted down what your goal is, you're already 10 steps ahead of the crowd. Most people don't believe they can make more money, so they never even define an objective anyways. So, this and that over there, it exists already. There is a frequency level. So, if your goal is to turn your annual income into your monthly income, your new desired monthly income level way, that seems way over there, way beyond yonder, that's a frequency level and it already exists. Because all the energy that ever was and ever will be is 100% evenly present at all places at all times. So the reality of you making your annual income into your monthly income, it's already an existing frequency pattern in the same way that 100.7 FM radio is an existing and, and, and broadcasting frequency station even though you're on 90.4. So for you to get to where you wanna get, you just turn the dial to switch the frequency level. And that's the same process we're doing is we're shifting the frequency of our own paradigm, of our own paradigm with respect to money. So think about it like this. There, your huge goal it actually is just a frequency. And it already exists. Now, step number two is to become aware that this is what my mentor calls a C-type goal. So an A-type goal is a goal you already know how to achieve. Let's say for me that I'm making $3,000 a month like I was about that. And my goal is to make $3,000 a month again. That's an A-type goal. There's no inspiration in it, there's no growth in it. The point of a goal, especially a financial goal, it's not what you get, it's who you become in the process. And it's the things that you learn in the process. So there's no growth in an A-type goal, you already know how to do it. Unfortunately, this is what most people do. This is what the middle class does. The middle class sets the same goal unconsciously as the year before. Now, they don't really even set a goal because like I said, most people don't believe that they can truly make a significantly amount more money than the previous year, so they never clearly define the goal. They never actually pull out that index card and do it. Now, a B-type goal is a goal you think you know how to do. Let's say I make $3,000 a month, so my goal is four. Say I make $78,000 a year, so my goal is 85. There's not huge growth in that. That's just an extra, I don't know, 500, 400, $300 a month. It's not super significant. Sure, it might be great to achieve it, but there's no real growth that's gonna significantly change your life and how you view yourself. Now, a C-type goal is a goal that you don't even know how to achieve it. And that's what we're discussing here financially, how to turn your annual income into your monthly income. This is a C-type goal. This is the kind of goal that you want in life. Only about 1% of people set C-type goals. These are goals you don't know how to achieve. This is fantastic because what this means is it's going to challenge all the program beliefs that you have about yourself and that you have about money. It's going to erase them all. So you want a C-type goal. And that means you're gonna have a little terror, you're gonna have a little fear when you're, when you're saying, hey, I'm gonna listen to Jake and give this a try over the next year or two, I'm gonna try this, right? And that's fine. And it's okay to label it as nonsense because it actually is nonsense. Think about it like this. Nonsense is just something that isn't perceivable by your senses. That's what it means, no sense. So how do we define our possibilities financially? Well, we use our physical senses. We use our eyes to go look at our bank account. I have this much dollars in my bank account. I have this many. This is how much money I make every month. See, it's $10,000 a month. It's $1,200 a month. This is how much I make. That's sensical, right? It's using your senses. It's realistic. Nonsense means that it's beyond your senses. What you see 
what you hear and your past experience is one one hundredth of one percent of what you are capable financially. Your true financial potential is nonsense because it's so far beyond anything you know and perceive as you and what you're capable of financially. So it is nonsense. And that's exactly what you need because the point of a goal is not what you get. The point of a goal is who you become in the process. So set your C-type goal, clearly define it, and write it on a piece of paper. Now the third step is to believe it's your right to be rich. Now this is a very hard concept for most people to understand. Most people can understand, yes, I'm gonna work harder. Yes, I'm gonna rethink things. Yes, I'm gonna write my goals down. Yes, I'm gonna learn a productivity hack in this business and that business. It's so focused on doing, 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 doing. We become human doings. And we forget that all of reality is a projection of consciousness, your own consciousness, your own perception, money included. And since we're very young, we're programmed, since birth, we're programmed about money. Now, the vast amount of us live a middle class or below middle class life. So we're programmed with middle class or below middle class or even poverty level consciousness which says there isn't enough money to go around. It says, who are you to be rich? Money's the root of all evil. The rich people have ruined the world. Money isn't spiritual. Money's not gonna get you into heaven. You can't take the money with you. If the rich people were nicer and they gave us a, the money, we'd be in a better place. It's seeing the person with the beautiful sports car and saying that rich jerk should give the money to charity. It's saying, well, I'm, I was never good with numbers. My dad never made much money. It's seeing your parents in credit card debt or seeing your parents go bankrupt or seeing your parents get divorced over money because the number one cause for divorce is finances. And it's seeing this kind of middle class or lower middle class financial existence. It's called a paradigm. It's a collection of thoughts, perceptions, beliefs, behaviors, and habits. And this paradigm controls us. It stops us from attracting money. Think about it. How does the 1% view money? How do those types of children view money? It's very natural to them. It's as natural as breathing. If you grew up in a very rich household, having money is as natural as breathing. They, they, don't, they don't look at it like, oh, if I have some, someone else won't have it. They don't look at it like, oh, this is bad or I can't do it and I'm not good enough for it. I'm not worthy or deserving. It's very natural, it's like breathing to them. They go out, they buy the things that they want, they live in a nice house, they always have enough, or quite, quite literally a lot more than enough. So they're operating from two fundamentally different paradigms. Now we, we know now, you can rewire and, and you can change your paradigm. But it all begins with one simple statement. It's my right to be rich. Now this was a hard one for me. I was 22 years old, I was making a couple thousand bucks a month, and I was doing coaching, videos, books. I believed in what I was doing, I, I was helping people, and so I believed that if I loved what I did and I was helping people, I shouldn't make any money at it. And I believed money was the root of all evil, I thought I was so spiritually enlightened that money was bad. And so I had this whole collection of paradigm about money. It's no wonder I only made a few thousand dollars a month. You can look at your thoughts and beliefs about money and if without knowing how much money you make, I could probably determine how much you do make just by looking at your paradigm, your thoughts, beliefs, and your habits about money. Because those thoughts and beliefs that you have about money they're gonna determine the actions you do or do not take, the habits that you have. So it comes down to one simple statement. It's your right to be rich. How does that make you feel when I say that? <laughs> it's your right to be rich. Do you believe that? Because if you don't believe it, that's where the work begins. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, if it makes you feel like I'm a BS scammer, if it makes you feel like, yeah, that would be nice, you know where the work is to begin at. So comment that down below. It's my right to be rich. Comment it, it's my right to be rich. Now I want you to think about this. 
You might say, well, I just want to be happy. Well, first of all, you could be a lot happier with more money. You could fly first class, you could get a 20 acre farm. You might say, well, I don't want anything. Well, there's probably some things you need money for and it might be nice to have more than enough. And what about other people? I mean, imagine if you were a billionaire. Wouldn't the world be a better place if you had a million dollars a year, 10 million? If you just may turn your annual income into your monthly income, couldn't you help a lot of people? I know for myself, I'm able to re I was able to retire my, re my wife at 25 years old. You know, I'm, I'm able to do things with my money, help my friends, employ my friends, donate to where I want to don't where I want to donate. If I see a single mother that isn't asking for money, I can help her with something. I can do a lot of cool things with it. I can give a tip at a restaurant that costs more than the actual bill. If you think about it, money is a very useful tool and money is just paper. It's the things that you can buy with it. So it's not really, it's my right to be rich. It's my right to have all the things that I want in life, to fly first class, to live in the house that I want, to drive the car I want, to have nice running shoes, to go build an awesome charity, to go help the education system. It's my right to retire, to live on the beach, to live in the mountains and hear the beautiful birds. Whatever it is, it's your right to more life because having wanting more money is really wanting to experience more life. And what is life? Life is God, life is love, life is beauty, life is this universal spirit. Because God is in everything, the spirit is in everything. And so your desire for more money is really your desire to experience more of God's creation, is really to experience more of this beautiful life while you're here. That's really what it's about. You see that paradigm shift? I talked about how I used to view money. Now listen to how I talk about it now. You can see why I have a lot more of it because I made a shift. Because if you believe that it's not your right to be rich, it's bad, it's wrong, you're subconsciously telling yourself, don't give me money. Because your subconscious doesn't know the difference between what's good and what's bad. It doesn't know the difference between what you want and what you don't want. It just receives the commands that you give it. In the same way that you set a GPS on a car, right? You set a GPS on a car and you plug it in to drive to Los Angeles. It's gonna get there no matter what. And that's the same way your paradigm about money is. Now, if you believe you're not good enough, there's not enough to go around, you gotta remember you live in an infinite universe. But if you believe those types of things or you believe you aren't good enough or smart enough or blah, 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 what you're really saying or money's bad, you're saying, I don't want it. So your subconscious says, okay, boss, I'll make sure you don't have enough. And that was me. That was me making a few thousand dollars a month. At one point, making under $2,000 a month and my rent was $1,500. There was basically nothing left every month. Ashley was in credit card debt just for basic things because we were so on the edge every single month that we always ended up having not enough money for the thing. So Ashley would swipe her credit card on the last week until the next money would come around. It's no wonder that that was our reality. We believed such terrible things about ourselves and about money. Therefore, we never had enough. And it's not like your subconscious says, oh, let me make sure I give them more. Because your subconscious isn't thinking. It's just receiving the commands that you give it about money. And this is the biggest problem most people have. They, they, they hear about a great new business. There's all these at all these like marketing gurus telling you to buy this business and buy this business. There's all these videos on productivity hacks and how to make more money. We have the best education we've ever had. There's all of this knowledge and people start new businesses that other people make millions at. They say, Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. My new, person is makes all this money and they're going to teach me how to do it. Well, it's not what you do. It's how you do it. That's why this explains why some people try to do what I do and they can't even pay their bills. Then someone like myself turns their annual income into my monthly income. 
other people try to start a network marketing business, they try to be an author, they try to be a, they try to start this entrepreneurial endeavor because they saw somebody else succeed at it. They heard about this new business, they heard about this new productivity hack. But it doesn't work for them the same way it worked for somebody else. Why is that? Because it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And how you do it is determined by how you view yourself and how you view money. And this is all subconscious. And this is why I'm so big on hypnosis. This is why I always say brainwash yourself before the world brainwashes you, especially when it comes to money. Think about the brainwashing you're getting every day about money. There's not enough, danger, danger, economy is terrible, you're gonna go to hell, oh my gosh, the rich people have all the money, we're all screwed. That's the programming we've received our whole lives. And the world brainwashes us to be poor, to be broke, to have just enough money to get by, to retire without any money. And so that's why I always hypnotize myself. That's why I always tell you, you need to do it. That's why I give my hypnosis away from free. It's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. It's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. And it's my free success hypnosis to reprogram your paradigm. So you start believing it is your right to be rich, that wealth flows to you in avalanches of abundance, that you can give your talents with love and you're wonderfully blessed financially. Do you see how this is just a paradigm? Once you drop your resistance around money, it can flow to you. Because remember, it's just a frequency level. Right? We talked about where we are. Now pull this editor, pull this image back up onto the screen right now. So we see this image again. Where are you? This is where you are. You are here at this frequency level based off of your views about money, the habits, the actions you do or do not take, the, the luck, quote unquote, that you've been blessed with. Well, all, where you are is determined by your paradigm. Now, where you wanna be turning your annual income into your monthly income and manifesting abundance, that's a totally different paradigm. To turn your annual income into your monthly income, you surely have to believe it's your right to be rich. You surely have to believe that money is good, there's enough to go around, that you're, you're not taking away from anybody by having it. If anything, you're gonna make the world a better place by having it. And you see that this is just a frequency. It's my right to be rich has a different vibratory frequency than, yeah, sure, total BS, idiot, scammer, I'm done with this video. Oh yeah, sure, you, it's, it's easy for you to do it, but you don't understand what I've been through. That's resistance. If you continue to offer resistance, you can't allow the financial abundance, the universal flow to come into your life in a greater level. So to upgrade your frequency to attract more money, you must change your paradigm and begin with, it is my right to be rich. So comment down below, it is my right to be rich, and check out my free success hypnosis, jakeshypnosis.com, pinned to the comments if you scroll to the top comment. Now, last but not least, forget about time and focus on your own growth. Forget about time. Forget about scoreboard watching, forget about saying, is it working yet? Has it happened yet? Oh my gosh, Jake, it hasn't happened yet. The more we do that, the more we stay in the old paradigm that says, I don't really even believe this is possible and I'm hoping for a miracle. We gotta get out of the idea of time. If we live in an infinite universe, time doesn't exist. In fact, Albert Einstein already showed us that. That was what Albert Einstein said, that there really is no such thing as linear time all the possibilities that ever was and ever will be, there already exists that, fre that frequency of you turning your annual income into your monthly income, it already exists. It's just that you have to embody the frequency of it. You have to become that person first. And then boom, it'll happen quickly. That's what happened to me, it happened fast. You know, Napoleon Hill has a beautiful quote in Think and Grow Rich. He says that if you believe that Honesty and hard work alone bring big money. Perish that thought immediately. Riches, when they come, come in such vast quantities and so quickly that one wonders where they were hiding all those lean years. And I remember reading that and hearing that and saying, okay, 
Like, I get the people, I get you if you feel like that. I felt like that myself, but I suspended my disbelief and I had an open mind. So like, I understand if you feel like that. Now, for me, I did all these things that we're talking about here. I changed my paradigm, I worked really hard on changing my beliefs, on identifying my limiting beliefs, on looking at my self-worth, finding all these limiting beliefs that I had. I worked really hard on all those things. I worked hard on growing. I just focused on growing, trying to become a bigger person, a better person, better at all these things, focusing on myself. And the craziest thing really happened. So I was doing my books, I was doing YouTube, all those types of things, but I wasn't really getting the progress. And then he said, turn your annual income into your monthly income. And so I was doing a lot of the inner work and I was camping with Ashley and we were camping in Mount Hood in the National Forest in Oregon. And there's no cell service there and there's no internet, but I have to publish YouTube videos still. So what happened was I published a video at a coffee shop and then we logged off the computer and we went out to our campsite way out in the nature. and. A day or two later, I had to come back to a cafe to publish another video. And when we went back to the cafe, I logged into the internet, and at this time I was probably getting a couple hundred views on a video in, in about 24 hours, 36 hours or so. so only a couple hundred, not, I wasn't even cracking a thousand. And I went to the internet and I logged in the Wi-Fi and I looked at the screen and there was that little red notification button and I had like just off the chart number of notifications and I was kind of confused. I was like, what is this? And it was because I, I wasn't used to that and, and I didn't really understand what was happening. And so I went and I went into my YouTube and I looked around a little bit and I saw that I had like, I don't, I don't remember exactly what it was. I had like 10,000 new subscribers and I was like, what the heck? So I got more subscribers in that 24 or so hour period than I had on my whole channel. And I thought it was so weird. And I'm like, what's going on? So I click in and one of my videos that had been published weeks ago, randomly went started going viral and then as it went viral a couple other ones did and i had gotten like hundreds of thousands of views basically overnight and i never looked back man it didn't take that much longer that my annual income turned into my monthly income and i look back now with that napoleon hill quote and i say wow that was was that ever true if you believe hard work and honesty alone brings wealth, perish that thought immediately. Riches, if and when they come at all, come so quickly and in such vast quantities that one wonders where they were hiding all those lean years. It's quantum growth. Because if the frequency already exists, you don't need to follow a linear path to get there. It doesn't have to be 2,000 a month to 2,200 to 2,300 to 2,400 to 2,500, and it takes you 19 million years to get up to whatever number. It's nonlinear because Albert Einstein said time doesn't exist. We generally think A to B to C to D. Albert Einstein said logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. And you're activating imagination. Imagination is the creative power of God that you have manifested here in your own brain, your own mental faculties. And so what's so exciting about this is once you finally embody the frequency, boom, you hit a quantum leap and you could get a year's worth of results in 30 days. Heck, you might be that one person that it happens immediately for because it already exists. Over there is, is a frequency that already exists. It's just that you have to tap into it from your consciousness. So this is Jake Ducey reminding you that it's your right to be rich, reminding you that you're probably a lot more powerful than you believe. 
And if you keep an open mind, you can probably find yourself a lot more capable than you ever imagined. You could probably find yourself making a lot more money than you ever imagined and quite frankly, just living a lot better life than you ever imagined. And I understand if you feel a little hesitancy, I felt the same way. If this video speaks to you, this is a video you're gonna wanna watch back through. The way to reprogram a paradigm and to turn your annual income into your monthly income is through repetition, which means you listen to the same video over and over and over again. You listen to it three times in one day, four times in one day, so it really sinks in. You watch this back through and you do every one of the steps. Remember, we started, this is a long video, right? We started all the way back at where you are and where you wanna be, clearly defining your goal, writing it on paper. So let's go back through all of these steps and let's see what you're really capable of. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button on this side or this side. Now, the like button is what sends us into the YouTube universe and more people see it. I think the world would really change if everybody realized that they actually can manifest and attract financial abundance into their life. And I'm on a mission to help more people awaken to that. And if you're part of that movement, part of that mission, and you think this video is valuable, hey, why don't you share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever else, email it or text it to a friend, hit the like button because that will help send this out to more people. And uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. Leave a comment, I'd love to know what you think. And uh, I can't wait to hear about the great things that head your way. So be sure to check out jakeshypnosis.com right there down below, pinned to the comments. That's my free success hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious mind to believe it's your right to be rich, that wealth flows to you in avalanches of abundance, that you can give your talents with love and be wonderfully blessed financially. It may sound like a pipe dream right now, but through repetition, you can make that your operating paradigm, your operating software for the most powerful supercomputer in the world. You can upgrade the software, delete the viruses, and update your programming to change your entire financial life. So hit the subscribe button on this side or this side as well as the bell notification. The bell notification is what notifies you for new videos. YouTube decreases the reach to subscribers that don't hit the bell notification. So if you enjoy the videos, make sure you hit the bell notification on this side or this side and check out jakeshypnosis.com, pin to the comments right there down below. And uh, remember, it's your right to be rich. You can do it, I believe in you. I'd love to hear how this video speaks to you. Have a great day, I'll talk to you soon.